Good morning, Karen. Yeah, the protesters are demanding a peace monument at the Wendy's to commemorate the life of Rayshard Brooks. Now, at this point, the city hasn't responded to any demands, but it's clear their interest is restoring order. I want to show you what the area looked like earlier this week. Several groups of protesters, some of them walking around with long guns, had taken over the area around the burned out Wendy's on University Avenue, claiming it was now an autonomous zone. They were deciding who could enter the area and who could not. There were a couple of shootings in the area. Two people shot in the leg, one during a drive by. Since then, Atlanta police have removed the barricades in in the area, but it's unclear if the protesters will return and try to block the roads again. We spoke with Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore about this. She says it's not acceptable for citizens to take over an area in this way. She says the city is working on a phased approach to restore calm. What I understand is that there are various different groups of people there, because even while I was there, they were arguing with each other which is when I left because, you know, you have armed people arguing with each other that doesn't turn into anything good. And coming up in our next half hour, you're going to hear from a community activist. He's going to describe the beating he took when he went to that autonomous zone to try to speak with the protesters. We're live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Rebecca, thanks, 605. And now more on that 